All right, so here we are on B61. This is our hot end, which we will be attaching to our X carriage here momentarily. Uh, first, I want to talk about this guy a little bit. The way it comes is just like this, okay? Uh, one thing you want to do is make sure this guy is on tight, okay? Mine was pretty loose and about to fall off when I got it. So just tighten this guy up, make sure it's in there tight, okay? Also, you may want to take it off and just kind of look and make sure there's no... Um, leftover metal or anything inside this guy just you know unscrew it take a look um, okay and it's got this pressure this pressure fitting which we'll talk about a bit later <clears throat> okay now I did with my kit I ordered the auto sensor and the auto bed leveling sensor is actually gonna mount on this side this side of the hot end which happens to also be the same place as where this cord is. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to rotate all this around so it gives us a little bit more room and at the same time I want to um, give you something else to look for uh, with your hot end. Okay so if you see right now this brass nut is uh, up against the this is the the nozzle this brass part is the nozzle okay and then this bigger black part is your heat block and then this part in between here that looks like a little barrel goes in between here that's called the heat barrel Okay, and what you, uh, what you want is the nozzle up tight against the barrel, not up against the heat bed. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up the, this brass nozzle real quick. I don't have to take it all the way off, just loosen it up. And I'm going to actually rotate my block around uh, so it's like this. So this way uh, my cables are on the left side, leaving me room for my auto sensor to go onto the right there. Okay, but now you don't want to you don't want to tighten up um, by rotating this. You actually you move this further down onto the heat onto the heat barrel. Okay, so if we tighten this now, we'll see that there's a little gap in here. I'm sure, if you can see that, there's a little gap in between the heat block and the nozzle, and that's good because that means it's actually tightening up against the heat barrel, which is what you want. So I'll just tighten this guy up like so. And you may want to tighten that again once it's hot. Okay. Another thing you want to do is uh, a few people have been noticing that this screw, this screw right here that holds the thermistor in, the two little white wires, is too tight and it's causing issues. So you might just want to back that screw out just a little bit. Make sure it's not kinking anything. And it doesn't have to be super tight. So all it's doing is keeping that thing in that hole. So just make sure that that's, uh, that that's tight enough, okay? So now I got that rotated around. It's good to go. You might want to check your, um, your set screws back here. And make sure that those are all good to go. Okay. So that is that, and then we also have our fan that needs to get mounted on here. You want the label facing the heat sink, so that way it's going to blow air onto the heat sink. Okay. So we're going to use our longer, um, our longest screws in this bag. There's actually some extra ones in there. I'm not sure what they're for, um, but we're going to use the longer um, three millimeter screw or uh, M3 screws. All right, and we're just going to tighten those guys in here. Oops, that'd be the wrong size. Okay, and uh, the, the heat sink should be tapped for these, so they should go in fairly easily. Okay, so there's our fan with our heat sink. And then lastly, we want to take our object, our X carriage that we built in the first one. Wheels facing down, fan facing out. We want to go ahead and mount this guy using these shorter M3 screws included in this package.
and there we go. There is our hot end and our X carriage. Uh, oops, our hot end and our X carriage ready to mount and roll back and forth. All right, and we'll move on to the next step.